Hi guys and welcome back to a new extreme clean with me cleaning motivation video. In today's video I show you some realistic messes. My house is a disaster as usual. If you are new my name is Rosie Lynn. Hi and welcome. I'm a mom to three little ones ages six, four, and two and on my channel I just like to uplift you and bring you that cleaning motivation to get your week started normalize real messes my home is so messy but we are here to get it clean and i'm going to bring you guys along with me in today's video let me know if you enjoy it please subscribe to join this little community i have here on youtube and let's get started Starting off in the bathroom, I'm going to be soaking the girls' bath toys with vinegar and extremely hot water. This is going to sit for about 35 minutes to an hour while I clean everything else in the bathroom. If you aren't using vinegar, you guys give it a shot. It is so awesome. You can use so much with vinegar and I absolutely love it. I always, if you've been following me for a while, I always clean this tub with antibacterial Dawn dish soap and vinegar. It just smells so good. It's not harsh chemicals and I just really enjoy it. So I'm using my Scrub Daddy sponge and I love this sponge. I just love Scrub Daddy products in general. They came out with a new toilet wand. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I did see it at Walmart, but I didn't pick it up because I still have a big stock of the Clorox wand. So if you've tried it, let me know what you think about it and let me know if you guys want me to try it on here and give you guys my opinion. But I'm going to just keep scrubbing the tub and getting it nice and clean. and I really love the Sprayway glass cleaner. It's my favorite glass cleaner. And I'm showing you guys three of the microfiber cloths that I like to use in my bathroom when I clean. I really wanna try the Sprayway stainless steel cleaner. I haven't been able to find it, but I have seen it on TikTok and it just looks so good. So we're gonna go in and give this a good wipe down. Let me know your favorite glass cleaner or what you like to use in your bathroom. I love this one because it smells so good. We're gonna be using the Mrs. Meyer's Compassion Scent on the countertops. This is also one of my favorite scents for the bathroom. It smells so good. I love Mrs. Meyer's products. I don't think they're like fully clean or toxic free, but I just love the way they smell and they are one of my favorites. So definitely love that. But we're gonna give this a good clean. I hope you guys are doing great. What's new in your week? Are you doing anything for the weekend? Do you have summer plans? What are you guys up to? We're getting ready to leave to Colorado to visit my family. We are doing a long road trip again. So you'll probably see an upcoming video about packing maybe. I'm not sure. I have so much to do. So I'm not sure if I should film it or not. But I'm really excited to be sharing this video with you guys today and just inspiring you to uplift you to clean and giving you cleaning motivation to get you through your week ahead. I never want my channel to bring you down or make you feel like you're not doing enough because you are. This is just what I was able to get done today when I was filming. This all doesn't happen in one day. This actually took me two days. So being realistic, Rome wasn't built in a day. I just try to make it as much as I can because I enjoy making these videos and just sharing cleaning content on my YouTube channel.
cleaning my toilet with Clorox wipes and the Clorox wand. This is my favorite product to use. The Clorox wand is amazing. One of the reasons why I'm excited for the Scrub Daddy wand though is because it dissolves after each use and that is really exciting for me because with the Clorox wand you actually have to throw away the piece after you're done using it so it's like more wasteful but hopefully I can try the Scrub Daddy one soon. Let me know if you've used it and what your thoughts are. trying the pink stuff miracle all-purpose cleaner on my floor today in the bathroom I normally use my spray mop in here but today I wanted to try this new product I finally seen it at Walmart and I decided to pick it up and give it a shot so I'm gonna be using my little bucket here and I'm just gonna be doing all the trimming and all the floor what I like about this cleaner is it's an all-purpose cleaner meaning you can use it on all different floor types which makes it easy for me because we have vinyl plank flooring and I know certain cleaners you can't use on this floor but I was really excited to know that you can use this I'm still new to this product so I don't really have like a good review yet I am not sure if I like the way it smells yet but I'm gonna keep using it because I do see the popularity of it but I don't know how much I like it yet it did clean really well though so I do love that I just think I'm sensitive to the way it smells but I'm gonna keep using it and let you guys know as time goes on how I feel about it going to be doing some laundry motivation real quick in this video I always have loads of laundry motivation for you guys on my channel if you know I have so many little ones a big family and there's tons of laundry all the time I am trying to get caught up on laundry because we are going to be going to Colorado soon and I just want to have everything fresh and ready to go I thought this was so sweet my daughter Cleo who is four she always wants to help me with laundry it's one of her favorite things to do with me and I always include her anytime she wants to just because I think it'll give her some positive habits of cleaning Moving on to the next day, whew, you guys, man, it has been a rough couple days, mom life, summer's kicking my butt, but um, we are going to be cleaning up this living room. My husband has one of his fishing buddies that's going to be staying over, and you know that when you have company, that when you never really have company, that it's time to like get your home clean. So that's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be cleaning the kitchen, the floors, the living room everything because my house was a hot mess you guys and I know you can relate to that because if you have little kids it is just gonna be messy I don't know if this phase ever changes but wow we were in it today for a mess so I hope this gives you loads of motivation to get up and get it done
kitchen we're gonna start doing the dishes and giving you some kitchen motivation is your kitchen anything like mine because mine looks like this all the time there's not a moment where it doesn't stay clean unless we're sleeping you know in some days you know I am so tired that I'm just like Ugh, I'll leave it for the next day and then every time I do that I am so disappointed in the morning to wake up to a mess so it's definitely worth staying up the extra mile and getting your kitchen clean to give you that fresh start to your day it's definitely challenging when you have a lot of family but overall we are so blessed and so grateful just to be able to have a kitchen so i am going to be loading my dishwasher putting on my handy dandy gloves and showing you guys the mess of my kitchen look at this oh look at this <laughs> but we're going to be loading my dishwasher and getting it all nice and clean favorite cleaners for my porcelain sink it is the scrub daddy power paste this is a win if you have a porcelain sink give this cleaner a shot it works so well keep on doing what you do doing what you do just keep on doing what you do keep on
the dining room i need to clean my tabletop over here this is real life guys when you have kids there's just a lot of messes but it's okay we can clean it up it's no big deal we're gonna get everything cleared off i'm gonna be using the mrs myers peony scent it's one of my favorite scents from mrs myers it smells so good peonies are one of my favorite flowers and here's the new chairs if you haven't seen last week's video i show you that i got new chairs i unbox them and build them and my husband built the other two this morning i was so happy so you'll see that in the video we're going to be going in and giving this area a little bit of love and getting it squared away for a fresh start to my week because it needs it at my local grocery store and I haven't learned how to style it yet but I absolutely love it the really cute basket is a thrift find I found it at a thrift store and I just had to have it it was so cute moving on we are going to be cleaning off the surfaces in the counters and I'm also going to be mopping I'm gonna be using my O cedar mop bucket and I'm gonna be using the Bona mop cleaner for my second pass, I did go in with Pine Sol because it just smelled so much better. I don't know if it's because I've been using Bona for so long that I'm just kind of like tired out of the scent or like I can't smell it anymore, if that makes sense. Have you ever used a product so much that you can't smell it anymore or it doesn't smell fresh? That's kind of what was happening with me today. So I did go in with my second pass on the floors with Pine Sol and it did freshen up my floors. I really want to get one of those three-in-one vacuum mop machines but they're really expensive and so I'm not really like eager to spend so much on one of those but if you have one do you love it and do you have a brand you recommend I've seen so many pop up on my Amazon thing about 
you know, we can mop and vacuum at the same time. I've also been considering a steam mop, but then I'm like, if I get a steam mop, I might as well just get the three in one because it does the same job, save me half the time, but I'm not sure because it's a big product. So if you guys do have a recommendation, please let me know. I really want to get one, but I'm still on edge about which one to get because they are so expensive. So for right now, I'm just going to be using the good old mop bucket with my O cedar mop and my mop head. We're gonna be back, I'm not vacuuming. We're gonna be mopping the kitchen. We're gonna be mopping the living room and we are going to be doing the dining room. And I do have to mop multiple times because as you just seen, that mop water was disgusting. So we did this a couple times and we get it nice and clean. And I'm just so happy about that. Next, I wanted to go in and clean my little doggy's area where he sleeps. My dog's name is Floki, and here he is. He is a chocolate Labrador retriever. He is so sweet. He's intended for my daughter as a emotional support animal for her autism, and so he's just a great family uh, member to our family. And so I'm gonna be cleaning this area for him and giving it a nice, good clean. It definitely gets really messy right here. I do this frequently throughout the week or if I don't, you guys, oh my gosh, I probably have a hairball pet. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna clean this area and give it a good scrub and definitely give you some motivation if you have pets to wipe down and clean everything around their area because it gets so messy so fast.
Treat you like that, you lose it completely Losing track of space and time I don't wanna go home looking for a reason To stay here all night I wonder, do you feel it too? I'm going to be using this pet friendly stain remover for the tray to the kennel. I don't know what it is about these kennel trays, if it's some sort of plastic, but no matter how much I clean it, I always have residue left over. Am I doing something wrong? I've spray cleaned this outside with the power hose that we have. I've tried everything. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If this is just the way that they're made to always have like residue left over, let me know if you guys have any recommendations. Thank you so much. far thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoy today's cleaning motivation and i will see you soon in a new one bye for you, for you.